lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at installing fonts and we're going to install a free font from defont.com and we're also going to install a paid font from Font Bundles. Now just very quickly I want to touch on something that I don't really know a lot about if I'm being perfectly honest. Now I am a personal use crafter so everything I do is for my own self gratification. I do not sell anything that I make, I do not make any money on my creations, it is all for my own personal use. If you are a business or you are starting a business you need to ensure that everything you use, whether it be fonts or images, SVGs, even words, that first of all you have a commercial license for your fonts and your SVGs, so you're able to sell these, and secondly that you are not using anything that is copyrighted. This is a big, big no-no if you are selling things do not use anything that is copyrighted. Now, as I say, everything that I do is for personal use and all my tutorials are on a personal use basis. But I just kind of wanted to put that out there so that you all know that things that I do in my tutorials are only for myself. I'm not I'm not selling them. I'm either using them for myself or I'm gifting them. If you are a business, you need to ensure that you are fully informed on licenses and copyright. So here we are in defont.com. Now I love defont.com. It is a fantastic resource. There are thousands upon thousands of fonts. Now these are all personal use fonts. But it is a fantastic resource. So I found this font here, which is American Capting. In fact, I quite like the one underneath it as well, Riceling. So that's the one we're going to download. We're going to download Riceling. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click the download button and it's going to ask me to save it, which I want to do. Now, my computer has a really nasty habit of saving everything to wherever it feels like. And I can spend hours searching for downloaded things. So what I do now is I go straight to open folder and it will take me straight to my downloaded folder. So all I do is I double click on that. Now sometimes there may only be one file in here, sometimes there may be three, sometimes there may be four, sometimes there can be six or seven. The only file that you are interested in is this one. It's the true type font file. Now you do want to keep the whole folder because in there will be your license. So it'll either be a personal use license or a commercial use license. So you do want to keep the whole folder, but the only thing you actually want to install is the true type font file. So we're going to double click on that and then we're just going to click install. So once my font has installed, I'm just going to close it down and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab the whole folder and I've actually got a font folder in my desktop and I just put my whole folder in there and it means that everything is in one place and if I need to find anything I know where it is. So now we're back in design space and if we go to text and we go up to font and we just start searching for Riceling, you'll see it won't come up. The reason for this is we've installed it onto our computer, but we don't actually install them into Design Space. Design Space is very clever in that it's able to access our system fonts. And our system fonts are every font that we install on our computer. But Design Space doesn't upload them, it just accesses them. So in order for Design Space to realize that we've installed a new font, all we need to do is refresh it. And this will restart Design Space for us. So once Design Space has rebooted itself, we'll go back to text, we'll click font, and we can then go in and have a look 
for Riceling and you'll see it comes straight up. So if you install a font and you go straight into design space, it won't be in there. You do need to make sure that you refresh design space. So here we are on fontbundles.net and this is a fantastic site. There are some brilliant bundles on here. They also do free fonts. They do individual paid fonts. It's a fantastic site. So I've seen this font bundle, which is £2.96. So all I'm going to do is click on it. Now it will ask me to add it to my cart, which I'm going to go and do. And once it's in my cart, I can go to my checkout. And then I would just check out like I normally would. I'm not going to show you my checkout process because I need to put passwords in. So once I've paid for my fonts, I'm then able to go to download files. And you'll see that we've got all our fonts in there. So we're going to go for the first one and we're just going to click on it. And it will take us to our download page. So it will ask us, do we want to save, which we do. We're then going to open the folder and you'll see it's in there. So with things like this, I tend to download them all and then I'll install them one at a time. But we're just going to do this one first. So I'm just going to click on it and I will install it. And again, once it's installed, I'm going to move it over to my fonts. If we go back into design space, and again, I'm going to refresh the page so that it can register that we've installed a new font. I'm then going to go to my text. I'm going to click on font, and I'm going to search for Anteater. And you'll see it's right here at the top. And it really is that simple to install fonts. It's the same process whether it's paid fonts or free fonts. You do exactly the same thing to install them. Please make sure that you're checking your user license to ensure that you have either personal or commercial use license. And also please make sure that you save the whole folder on your computer, especially if you're using them for commercial use. But it really is that nice and simple to be able to install so many lovely fonts. As always, I hope this tutorial has been useful to you. Please do subscribe and I'll see you all again soon.